Assalamualaikum. Dear students, hope you will be fine. Students, today we will start our first lecture from D2, 7th edition. Students, first chapter of your syllabus for the first term is chapter number 3. The title of the chapter number 3 is Expansion and Factorization of Quadratic Expressions. In this chapter, we will learn how to expand, simplify and factorize the quadratic expressions. Let us start our lecture. In this, uh, first of all, we will start from exercise 3a, quadratic expressions. In this exercise, we will learn how to expand and simplify the quadratic expression. For example, 3x square plus 6x plus 2 is a quadratic expression. This is not a quadratic equation. Students, you can see there is no equal sign in this expression. Therefore, we call this a quadratic expression. Quadratic because in this expression, the highest power of the variable mean x has the maximum power 2. Therefore, this is a quadratic expression. If variable has power 1, the expression is known as linear expression expression but this is a quadratic expression now we will discuss how to simplify or expand the quadratic expressions let us start exercise 3a now students this is the first question of exercise 3a the statement of the question is expand or simplify the given quadratic expression. First of all, arrange this quadratic expression order-wise. 6x square plus 9x square plus 19 minus 8. You can see 6x square and 9x square are both like terms because these two terms contains x square. 19 and 8 are integers the both terms are like terms. Now you can add 9 plus 6 this will make 16x square 19 minus 8 is 11. So this is the simplification of this quadratic expression. Question number 2. In question number 2 we will learn how to multiply the expressions a part just like we have 12 multiply by 5x. Remember students multiply integer by integer and variable by variable. 12 multiply by 5 this will become 60 into x. So the final answer is 60x. See one more part. Part b. x multiply by 6x. In this question, x will be multiplied by x. When variable multiplied the variable and the variables are same, then power will be added. So the simplest form of this expression is 6x square. Now students, c one more question from question number 3 part c first of all 8 will be multiplied by minus x so this will be minus 8x and then 8 multiplied by 3 this will be minus 24 similarly in question number 4 part a we have to expand and simplify the expression 4 to the 8a 4 3 the 12 plus 5a, 5, 5, 3, the 15. Arrange the expression, 8a, plus 5a, plus 12, plus 15. So, we have 13a, plus 27. 
so this is the final answer of this quadratic expression now students see one more example this is a question of uh, question number 8 part b in this question we have to simplify and expand the expression x multiplied by 2x 2x square x with minus 1 minus x 7 to the 14x minus 7 range order wise 2x square plus 3x minus x plus 14x minus 7 students you can see these three terms are like terms because every term contains a variable x so this will become 16x minus 7 this is the final answer of this expression now students hope so uh, now uh, you will be able to do all the questions of exercise 3a in the next lecture we will discuss how to factorize the quadratic expressions take a great care of yourself allah hafiz god bless you